All right, so I decided I'm gonna try and make my own um, honey, no, honey almond cream cheese, like I get at Einstein Brothers. So I've got some slivered almonds here, and I'm just gonna toast them up. And I'm gonna toast up more than I need because I don't want these almonds to go bad, and then we can use them in other things. I shall just do all of them. All right. So I've got my oven preheating to 350. I got my brick of cream cheese out to soften. So as soon as my oven's hot, I'm just going to toast these in the oven for about seven or eight minutes. You do want to watch them because they'll burn really quickly. Um, so I'll be back in just a minute to show you what those look like. All right, the oven's preheated, so I'm gonna stick these in here. Set my timer for seven minutes. All right, I'm gonna give those about two more minutes. These are nice and toasted up now. So I'm just gonna set these on the back of my stove. Stir them up just a little bit here. I'm gonna leave them here until they've cooled and then I'll put them back in that jar. And then when my cream cheese is softened in a few hours, then I'll go ahead and move on with making the honey almond cream cheese. All right, so we're gonna work on our, whoops our honey almond cream cheese today. So first thing I'm gonna do is get my cream cheese that I've had sitting out so it's soft. I'm gonna put it in my mixer and I'm just gonna whip it up so that it's nice and fluffy before I do anything else to it. And I'm not really using a recipe. I kind of looked up some things online and I'm just kind of winging it. So I've got an eight ounce yeah, I've got an eight ounce package of cream cheese. I'm just going to whip this up. This bowl's really almost too big for just one package of cream cheese. get all this out of the out of this um, attachment so now that I've got it kind of whipped up I'm going to use this paddle attachment so it'll scrape the sides I'm going to add some honey but it keeps crystallizing so I'm going to stick it in the microwave all right so I'm going to pour a couple tablespoons I really don't know how much I should use we'll try that and see No, that definitely needs more honey. Alright, let's try this again. Although maybe what I tasted was pure honey. I mean, Maybe what I tasted the first time was pure cream cheese. Let's get down here in the bowl and see. Mmm. Mm. Oh my goodness, that's delicious. Okay. So we've got our almonds that we toasted up yesterday. I am going to, let's see. This is new, so I don't know what I'm doing. Whoops. How do I open this? Oh! 
Seems like I can figure out how to get the lid off. Oh my goodness, do I seriously not know how to do this? There we go. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't read the instructions. All right, and again, oh, ooh, those smell good. I don't know how much I need. We're gonna go with, okay, we're gonna go with that. Now, I'm not, well, I'm going to try not to like make these into nut butter because all I want is for them to be chopped up a little bit. So I'm just gonna pulse it. All right, I think I like that. So they're chopped up like this. So I am going to just add this to my cream cheese and honey mixture. And I'm sure this bowl comes off and I just don't know how to do it. Slide that out of the way. All right, and then we'll mix this up again. And then I'm just gonna put it in this glass Pyrex dish. All right, we're gonna give it another little taste with the almonds in there. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Okay, so. I'm gonna wipe off the edge of my bowl here first. And I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator so it will kind of firm back up a little bit. And then in a little while, I'm gonna have a bagel and cream cheese. So today is Saturday, February 11th, and my stepsister is going back to Florida in less than a week. She's going back home. And so my sisters and I are all having a little get together lunch. And so I'm making some cupcakes to take as my contribution. And I will keep some of the cupcakes at home for my husband and I because we are celebrating Valentine's Day on this night. And I'm using a box cake mix which I would normally make from scratch, but when I did my inventory, I realized that I had a couple of boxes that were about to expire. Even though I made a boxed cake mix for our cupcakes, I did go ahead and make homemade frosting to go on them. So I started with some butter and I like to use almond extract in my frosting so I used a little bit of almond extract and then here I'm putting in just a little bit of vanilla extract. And then I had a little bit of heavy cream left. And so that's what I used as my liquid. And then I whipped that all up with my powdered sugar. And then when it came to decorating, I just did a very simple um, swirl on top of the cake just with an open tip bag. 
And then I used some just plain pink sprinkles. And then I also had some that were Valentine specific. So I sprinkled some of those on and then around the plate and it turned out really cute. All right, so today I'm gonna to use up this bacon that I cooked the other night. So I'm just going to make kind of a breakfast mix and we're gonna put it in some tortillas, make some breakfast burritos. So I've got some tortillas I pulled out of the freezer and they are mostly thawed. I might stick them in the microwave if I need to. First thing I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna cut up some potatoes, some canned potatoes, and I'm going to um, cook them in my cast iron skillet with some butter so they get kind of a crunchy edge on them. And then I'll start mixing all of the other ingredients up as well. So I'm just cutting these kind of in bite-sized pieces. I'm going to turn the heat on <clears throat> under my burner and I'm going to put some butter in the skillet. We'll let that melt and then we'll add some of our potatoes. Not quite hot enough. Kind of simple, so we'll go ahead and get our potatoes in here. I'm going to spread these out. I'm going to add some salt and pepper. And then I'm just going to let them sit so that they can get brown on that bottom side. I'm going to turn it down probably just a little bit. and let them keep cooking. Go ahead and get these potatoes out and back in the bowl. And I'm gonna turn this down some. All right, I'm gonna add this last piece of butter here. I went ahead and chopped up a red pepper, a bell pepper. And once I get these onions kind of broken up in here, I'll add the pepper. And this is actually, it looks like sliced pepper and not chopped pepper, but that's okay. It doesn't matter, it'll still work. I really should label my, my freezer bags better. Alright. I'm going to 
go ahead and add this chopped red pepper. And I'm just going to cook this until it's soft. And I've got nine eggs here that I just cracked into this dish and I'm just going to whip them up and I'm going to scramble them. Add just a little bit of salt and pepper to my eggs. that in. I have some more butter here, but it was in the freezer, so I'm going to have to work on it to get it to cut. Oh, I didn't actually. These vegetables are tender. I'm going to put them in with the potatoes. Up. All right, so now I'm going to add this to my potatoes and veggies. my bacon and just kind of crunch it up in littler pieces. Taste a piece first. together now. So my tortillas are not quite thawed. I'm going to stick them in the microwave and having them warm will help actually. So I'm using, I think these are eight inch tortillas. It just says medium, so. All right, so I'm just going to spoon. I'm gonna spoon some of this out on my tortilla. Might need a bigger spoon, but. That's okay, I'll just deal with it. Trying to make sure I get a little bit of everything in here. Okay, and I also have some I 
I have some pickled jalapenos that are from the garden we had at our other house before we moved out here. So I'm going to just put my husband, I could probably pour the whole jar in here and he would love it. I don't like him that hot. So I'm going to just put a few along the top and then I'm going to add some cheese and then I'm going to roll them up. So these aren't perfect, but that is okay. And so I've got like, I've got two sheets of these aluminum foil sheets and I'm just going to wrap it up in two of those to kind of help prevent freezer burn. Although I don't think they'll last long enough to get freezer burn. And then I am gonna put them in a plastic baggie before I stick them in the freezer. All right, there's our first one. These sheets are pretty thin, that's why I'm doing, partly why I'm doing two. And these will be nice, we can just pull them out of the freezer, let them thaw, and then stick them in the microwave to warm them up and they will be perfect. So this will let my husband be able to take one or two of these to work. And by the time he's ready for his lunch, They'll be thawed. I might have to shred some more cheese before I'm done here. Because, of course, I didn't get it done yet. Ooh. Yeah, I probably need, either I need to fill them less, or I needed bigger tortillas. But we are going to make these work. Because I don't need anything more than this. What inspired me to make these is I used to love um, Sonic has a has a burrito that's got peppers and potatoes and everything in it and I used to eat those all the time at my previous job when I worked in one of our smaller offices there was a Sonic right up the street from the office and I used to go in and get these for breakfast all the time. Oh, I don't know if I put cheese on that one. But this, this is just real food ingredients. There's no artificial anything in these when you make them yourself. There's nothing you can't pronounce. There's no seasonings that you don't want. These will be much better for me than the ones I was eating at Sonic. And they should taste better too. And my husband will enjoy these. He's He likes to run. And so as the weather warms up, he starts putting in more miles. He has a couple of big races that he does in the spring and summer. And so if I don't make sure he's got extra things to eat, he doesn't normally eat enough. And he's kind of bad about breakfast anyway, so if I have something that's easy for him to just take like this, he's way more likely to eat. Do you want out again? So I am going to have to grate some more cheese. Let's see, I don't want to use that one. Now I've got this wrapped up so well, I don't know where to start to unwrap it. Oh my gosh, I seriously don't know where to start. There we go. Get out a clean knife since the ones I've used have all kinds of stuff on there. Let's see. Oh, and I'm actually gonna need some cheese later today. So I'll go ahead and 
shred quite a bit. So I'm just going to use the plastic that I had already used to cover this end of cheese back up. And then I will go ahead and put this back in my refrigerator. So I think I'll go ahead and shred enough right this minute to finish my, my burritos and then I'll shred the rest of it when I'm done with these and done cleaning up. Use this cheese. And I'm actually going to be out of town starting on Valentine's Day evening. Um, so that's Tuesday. And then I'll be back on Friday night. I'm going out of town for a conference. So this will be nice too. It'll be easy for my husband to just grab something out of the freezer. Or he can thaw a bunch of them if he wants, whatever. Whatever he wants to do. And then that'll give him simple breakfast that he can just kind of a take and bake deal. And then I'm gonna have a little bit of these pickled jalapenos left, but I am going to make sheet pan nachos later. So we will use those for our nachos. Last one, and then I need to clean up my mess because I just dirtied about a million dishes, it feels like. Not really, it just feels like it. Okay, last bit of filling here. Actually, I need to empty my dishwasher so that I can put some of this stuff in it. That was perfect. So let's get some peppers on this batch. Or on this burrito, I mean. And some cheese. And we'll roll it up and we will be done with our burritos. Very simple. Totally worth the little bit of mess that it makes as you're putting them together. And, you know, when you make these, you can use whatever you want. You can use, if you don't like onions, don't use onions. If you want garlic, add garlic. If you prefer sausage or ham or whatever you want to put in here in, in terms of meat. Or if you just want a vegetarian one, you could go that way too. Um, so, I'm going to get these in the freezer. Get my mess cleaned up. And then I'll be back in a little while with our Super Bowl snacks. All right, so today is Sunday, February 12th, so Super Bowl. So I am making some sheet pan nachos for us to eat during the game. Um, it's just gonna be me and my husband here, so that's all I'm gonna make. I do have some Valentine's cupcakes that I made. So we'll have some cupcakes as well. Um, but I don't have any chips, so I'm gonna make my own with some of the corn tortillas that I had in the freezer. So I got these out this morning and they are thawed now. I went ahead and browned up a, a pound of ground beef while I've got my oil heating in my fryer. And there's nothing else for us to do with these other than use them because I don't want to put them back in the freezer. So I'm just going to fry up all of them and then we can just eat the rest just as chips. So once this is hot, I'm going to start frying these and getting them on this parchment paper so that I'll have them when I'm ready to start putting together our tray of nachos. So our oil is at about 300 degrees. I want to get it, let it get a little bit hotter before I start frying these. So these nachos that I'm gonna make, they use ground beef, chips, obviously, and then black beans, 
The recipe calls for corn. I don't know if I'm gonna put corn in it or not. I am gonna definitely use some black beans that we've canned up together. Um, black olives, which I don't have and I don't like, so definitely not using those. But also tomato, jalapeno, cilantro, and sour cream, of course, and our cheese. So I'm gonna use some of these jalapenos that I have um, pickled that we used part of them in our burritos earlier. So I'll have those for our nachos. Calls for a red onion, which I don't have, and I'm okay with that too. So these are gonna be delicious. They'll be a great simple thing for eating during the Super Bowl game. And then we've got our cupcakes, or I can maybe throw some, or maybe I'll throw some of our um, pre-made cookie dough into the freezer, or <laughs> into the oven and make some cookies. Just kind of depends on how we're feeling at that time. But this should be plenty for us with the leftover chips. We can eat it with um, salsa or cheese dip or whatever. So this should be just about ready. Let me see here. Oh, well, it's about 325, so I'm gonna let it go a few more minutes. is hot so I am going to just put a few tortilla shreds or pieces that I tore up in here and I'm going to just put them in here and let them fry And I'm gonna use my shaker for my salt because I'm afraid if I do it out of my big container, I will end up with these things way too salty. Let those drain a little bit. So my dishwasher, I typically don't use the dry cycle on it because I feel like it's a waste of electricity, but everything comes out of my dishwasher just so, wet, especially plastic things, which I guess that makes sense. But so now I have this huge stack of dishes over there waiting to dry um, so that I can put things away. I guess I could have dried them by hand, but I don't really want to. All right, that batch is done. Start this one in there and then I'll salt that first batch. Woo. So I'm going to try the next, if I don't forget, the next time I run the dishwasher, turning the dry cycle on and see if it helps. If it doesn't help significantly, I won't waste my time, but poor energy. I really love homemade chips. Growing up, we had a taco shell shaper, former, I don't know, it was like a little metal thing. You laid your tortilla in there and squeezed it closed and it made the, you know, the little taco shape. I didn't even know you could buy ready-made taco shells when I was a kid. And we used to, my sister and I used to just love it when we had tacos because we loved using that thing. So we all ate crunchy tacos and then my mom made some softer tortilla shells for my dad because he preferred the softer ones. Ow. And I haven't seen one of those. I haven't seen one of those, well, since we were kids, 
I don't even know if you can buy them anymore or if you'd have to find one at a thrift shop or an antique store. I don't know. I'd love to have one just because. So I'm going to put my tortilla chips in this bowl. as they're done and then we'll just use whatever we need to make the nachos later and then whatever's left we can just eat with salsa. All right, so there is the last of our tortillas fried into chips. I'm gonna let all of this fryer cool down and then I will dump the oil and wash it all up and then I can put it away. All right, I'll be back when we are ready to start our sheet pan nachos. Okay, so I'm gonna start putting our nachos together. So I've got a baking sheet here with parchment paper on it. I'm just gonna give it a little spray. And then I'm gonna spread my chips out in as much of a, as a, like a single layer as I can. given that these chips, of course, are not flat. I have my oven preheating to 400 degrees. So I've got my ground beef that we browned up earlier, and I'm just going to Put this over the top of my chips. Got a jar of my black beans that I canned last fall. I don't know if I'm gonna use this whole jar, but I will just kind of sprinkle some on here and see what we end up with. lid for this so I can stick these leftover beans in the fridge. Somewhere. Whoa. And I decided not to use the corn. I'm just going to add, let's see, I'm going to put cheese on here. And then I'll slice up some tomato. I have some little grape tomatoes. I'll slice those up. And the jalapenos go on after it's baked. So I'm just gonna top this pretty generously with some cheese. Whoops. All right, this is gonna be way more than my husband and I need for ourselves, so that'll be perfect. All right, so as soon as our oven's preheated, I'm gonna stick this pan in there. We're just gonna cook it about five or six minutes. We just want the cheese to melt and the meat to warm back up. And then we will top it with some of our um, tomato. I might cut up a little bit of lettuce, I'm not sure and salsa and then we'll eat it with sour cream. All right, our oven's preheated, so I'm gonna stick this in. I did have some other lettuce, so I'll just pull a little bit of this out. And I'm just gonna pull off a couple of leaves and just shred those up and we just won't use a ton of lettuce. There's our lettuce. All right, so I've got these ready. 
so that when this comes out of the oven, we can add the rest of our toppings. Drain that a little bit. I've got our sour cream. I've got some salsa. We've got an extra bowl of chips if we need some more chips. Our leftover um, jalapenos. Let's see. And then here are the leftover cupcakes that I had made for Valentine's Day, which we celebrated last night since I'm going to be gone on Valentine's Day. So we've got cupcakes. And also, Joe stopped by his mom's on his way home from work today, and she sent him home with four little. Um, individual cherry cheesecakes so we'll have those also these are delicious I love it when she makes those so we just have a few more minutes on our nachos and then we'll be able to start making our plates so here's that pan I'm going to go ahead and add our extras to it so I'm going to throw some lettuce around on here Oh, that was plenty of lettuce. Let's top it with some tomatoes. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. Oops. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some of these on our plates. Oh, whoops. Trying to pull the paper up, that won't work. All right, so I'm gonna put some jalapenos on my husband's. salsa to mine. I'm just going to put the sour cream on the side for mine. You want salsa or sour cream? Yes, sir. Okay. Oops. Oh. My toppings fell off. The top fell off. <laughs> Grab a bite. Let's try it out. I have to get a jalapeno. Mm. I'm sorry. Mm hmm. Very good. All right. So good. There's a fork if you need it. All right. So we're going to go eat and get ready for the game. And then we have a couple of desserts to choose from. So I will see you guys on the next video.